Hey, welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year and today it's Tuesday the 11th of July 2023 I've been travelling about playing in different Mizuno Pairs events and uh, doing a wee bit of freelance playing my own courses and uh, last night I was staying in Leicester and I'm playing uh, Mizuno Pairs tomorrow in Norwich so I've driven over towards Norwich and we're very close this is course number 96 this year this is Barnum Broom golf course uh, it's a valley course here, there's two courses. Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 96 of 2023. It's Barnum Broom Valley course on the tee. The man who considered giving up golf altogether or even seeking therapy after his worst round ever yesterday with at least 10 blobs on the scorecard. But no, he's back on it today again from Kirk and Tillich in Scotland. Smithy! We're kicking off at the Barnum Brown Valley course. The first hole, and this is 503 yards, it's a par 5 obviously. It's got a dog leg to the right. Uh, it looks as if it might slope down a wee bit as well. And a decent drive at first. Uh, so I've reached the dog leg. So I'm straight down to the, the green here. It's possibly reachable in two, I don't, I'm not quite sure. Well, after yesterday's shambles on the first, it's nice to know that I can actually play, so we're on in three. Smithy ball on the dance floor, birdie opportunity from about 25 feet. Oh, that was a safe part of the first. I'm back in this golf game again. Uh, on to second here, and uh, it's 339 yards. Slight dog leg at the bottom to the left over the water. So I better take out the stunt golf ball. And that's John at the moment. He's still alive. This is the approach to the green at a dog leg second. Uh, I can't see the water, I can just see a whole host of reeds there. Uh, I can see the white flag in the distance. So I said, uh, John the Stunt Golf Ball here. Let's hope he's okay at the end of this one. I'm just up at the green at the second, I'm looking back over all the reeds. Can't see any water in there. It must be, it's quite thick. That's a look back at the fairway. There's a the green. Oh, Smithy Ball, just, oh, I'm a couple of feet short of the green. That's disappointing, so not officially on the dance floor. Not an official birdie putt. I pull at Barnum Broom Valley. Ah, it's a big long one. Stroke index 1, 406 yards, par 4. Straight down. I bet there's a ditch running uh, way up it towards the green there. So no doubt it'll be a layup for me unless I can uh, hit a super special drive, which is unlikely. Well, this is just short of the ditch, looking up to the green. That's quite substantial. Runs away up the left hand side of the green, runs across. All the way back down the way. Uh, I've actually flown the ditch, give it a go, and I'm just a few yards short of the green. Oh, I've just come on to the fourth, have a look back down at the third green there, the stroke index one. A nice bump and run to make it dead, it's always nice when you par the stroke index one. Uh, I'm not resting my laurels because this is the fourth hole. Uh, it's a par 3, 176. Uh, slightly raised green as well, and it's tight to the left. So normally I'd get my driver out here, but there's no room in the left. I know I'll hit it out to the left, it'll go right. So I've just got to hit a long iron if I can, see how I get on. Well, it's a good hit into the breeze. Uh, still a wee bit short of the green. Just playing up to it now. Oh, this is hole number 5, 414 yards, so it's long par 4, dog leg to the right. Big tree sitting in the middle there, and we're up at an elevated tee. I'm looking down at the fifth green. Unfortunately, that big tree I was mentioning earlier, I was uh, right in front of it. I've had to bend the ball around it, so no chance of reaching it in two. Sixth hole in the valley course here at Barnum Broom, and another undulating one. Slightly uphill to start off with, 376 yards par four. Uh, down the middle, between the trees, and then it goes dog legs to the left, between another set of trees. Unfortunately I'm in the middle of the fairway at the 6th, this is the approach into the green. Right down to the left, you get the red sticks there, so some water down there. And a hedge, big hedge east to the right. So I've got the trees to negotiate. Oh, this is a bit different, uh, 36 yards, drop down past 3, 7th hole. Oh, 62 steps up there to the elevated tee. Just as well, just leave my way, get practice of walking up and down all the steps. A few weeks ago, 
Uh, have a look round. Go back to one of the earlier holes away down there. Oh, look at this. Ah, and back behind me is the other course here, the hill course. Uh, let's go on to the mountain in hand. Let's get a par here. And this is looking back up the seventh to the tee box away high up there. Unfortunately, couldn't stop it on the green. There it is. Just come a bit of foot past. Look good in the air. On the eighth now, uh, par five, a long run, 540 yards through the gap of trees, and then it's uh, there's a dog leg down to the right. Trouble on the left hand side here with the reeds again, that ditch we saw earlier. After the drive at the eighth hole, this is a look down the fairway. It's a long way to the hole, par five. End of the first half, the ninth hole at Barnum Broom, a uh, long par four, 401 yards. Dog leg into the left. I can see some more reeds down there. It's very tight with the trees. And for once I'm going to dispense with the driver. That's an iron down the middle here, hopefully. I'm just looking back down the ninth. On the right hand side, that's the left hand side when you're coming out. I just just went into the red sticks. Penalty shot out there. Oh, it's unfortunate. Nice hit, just rolled away. Nearly into the water. Nice hole. Right, we're on the second half now. And we're at the 10th hole. What's the score, Smithy, against the golf course? Well, I had three pars in the front nine, which is three pars more than my entire round yesterday. Four bogeys and just the two double bogeys today. Unfortunately, getting into the water. So, not too bad, playing a bit, a lot, well, a lot better than yesterday. I'm a half shot up on uh, my handicap, so we're in the lead, halfway stage. On the 10th hole here, it's a par 5, 470 yards, and quite a sharp dog leg to the right. So I'm right down in amongst the trees and round. Oh, and just when you think you've played a nice drive at the 10th, there it is. Oh dear. And a view up after the dog leg and the tight trees on the 10th hole with par 5. Uh, it's rising up the hill. Another top one near the 11th hole at Barnum Broom. 412 yards par 4, slightly downhill to start off with, dog leg to the left and there's a wee bit of water around, that wee, that wee rivery thing where lots of rushes is winding its way around everywhere well, I look up to the green at the 11th and the wee river's a good bit further on from I'm capable of driving so it comes into play with my second shot if I don't hit it right but there's also there's a wee pond in the right hand side up there just at the bottom of the trees in the right hand side bunker on the left Back towards the clubhouse. Here we are at the 12th. Uh, it's 286 yards, shorter par 4. That looks a bit tricky. There's that river again winding its way down. Uh, I'm not sure where to lay out to the right hand side. Looks a wee bit more sensible. I can't see where the green is. It's going to dog leg up to the left. You could go for the big one over the, over the water, but you're risking it a bit. So, uh, safety time. Ah, this is a look at the 12th when you can see the dog leg. Well, you could go for it, try and fly it away over the trees. Uh, for my range, bunker sitting in front there, that river, another whole load of reeds and things to the right hand side. There's hardly any landing space really if you try and beat the, the water. So I played a safe one down the fairway and uh, hitting it back up. Oops. So that's the actual view for my approach shot to the 12th green. Getting across the water, but it shouldn't come into play, so yes, fingers crossed. That's the 13th at Barnum Broom. Par 5, and it's a sweeping dog leg, 460 yards. Elevated T down the bottom. Sweep round to the right there between the trees. And this is my view after the drive at the par 5, 13th. You come down the hill. Managed to put it between the trees, so I've got a straight look up the hole now. Uh, fair distance away whole load of trouble around the right hand side, you don't want it to be in that at all. Fairway sloping left to right as well. And here's another tough one at Barnum Broom. Try and keep my score going. It's 393 yards. It's gone uphill to start off with. Fairway sloping right to left and it's going to dog leg round to the left as well. So I want to push it up a wee bit to the right here. But I it said it's a, it's a long one, especially up the hill. Well, this is the green at the 14th, uh, 393 yards, uh, stroke index 2, up the hill to start off with. And I'm really chuffed because there's the smithy ball on the green. Dance floor, birdie opportunity, oh, about 30 feet. Uh, I'll take that. 
15th hole, or rather dinky par 3 here at Barnum Broom uh, across the, well that's the previous green uh, to the right hand side there so in through the trees, just make sure you get across the little gully as the 16th hole at Barnum Broom, it's 338 yards down the hill uh, I'm not sure if it's dog legging left or right, I haven't looked at the mark yet and uh, word of warning, I've had two pars in a row, so we get a par of this third one. The song comes out, your golf course is terrifying, Smithy's on fire. Well, at 16th, it's not much of a dog leg, it just dips down. It's going to be hard to stop the ball there. We'll give it a go. Oh, I'm just walking down to the green, thinking I was fairly smug. The ball's rolled down towards the green, but it's in the bunker there. Didn't, couldn't see that bunker. Should have gone down and had a look before I played my shot. A lovely shot out of the bunker. Here we go for three consecutive pars. Got about a 12 footer. Oh, here's the 17th. It's another drop down par three. So oh, I really like these type of holes. 153 yards down between the trees. And I missed that putt for the three consecutive pars. So no singing. That was unlucky. Good five though. 18th, final hole here at the Valley Course at Barnum Broom, 251 yards, and the dog leg quite sharply to the right after the trees there. Hit it too fast straight and you're in trouble. Well, I look, in fact, it's out of bounds. It's going to go down there. What's the score, Smithy, against the golf course? Well, I'm pretty good at Bellman at that. So I'm four shots in front of my handicap, uh, four shots lower than my handicap. So I'm rather pleased with that. So I'm only four over for the back nine, that's not bad after eight holes in the back nine, take that. Well, uh, my natural fade, or could even be construed as a slice at times, I take me around the corner and this is a view up to the 18th green. Bunk on the right hand side, tree on the left. Clubhouse up to the left. Well, there's a green at the 18th, there's a smithy ball. Uh, about 25 feet past the pin, I've gone past it. But it's on the dance floor, birdie opportunity once more. Well, you can't see the clubhouse if I stand in front of the 18th green, but I've got somebody else coming up. So I'm going around behind it. So that's me finished on the 18 here at Barnum Broom and the Valley course. And uh, despite it being a modern course, uh, I say uh, my preference is always for traditional. Uh, I really enjoyed this course. I thought it was really good. It's in uh, cracking nick. That's a cracking layout as well. It's really good. A couple of drop down par threes. Say the course is in fine condition, greens are superb. Uh, it's a hotel course, there's two courses here and a whole load of chalets and things. So a wee bit busy behind me in the bar. Uh, yeah, it's unlike a lot of modern courses that are bland. This one certainly isn't bland. The river runs in with the weeds, or oh, meanders all around the place. Uh, undulations, so it's certainly not bland. There's it a lot of features on the course. I said I really enjoyed it. Smithy against the golf course. Well, I beat the golf course with a par at the end. So that was me five shots. Uh, was it five shots? Four shots in front? Oh no, hang on. Yeah, five shots in front. I won by five shots. So that was 41 stay over for points. No blobs. That was a wee bit different from yesterday. So I'm a lot happier with that. Game back in shape. So let's see if I can do it tomorrow. We're off to Royal Norwich in the Mizuno Pairs comp. So that's all for me today. Good night. And there was me forgetting to give it a mark out of 10. Well, for me, it's going to be a big 8 out of 10 for me. I'll definitely come back to play the other one, the hill course here at some point. Mm -hmm.